Hey, we have here today a quick integral. This one's from MIT 2012, problem 15. We have the integral from zero to one of x times one minus x to the 99th dx. Okay, now at first it could look a little intimidating. We got this large power, 99. And I've done um, a video like this in the past where what we can do is we can kind of shift the burden from the x to the one minus x with a u substitution. It's not too bad, so let's see how this is gonna work. I'm just gonna make my u into this thing. So we'll say u is one minus x. Then with just a little rearranging of this, we see that also x is one minus u, and we'll take the derivative to get our dx value. Derivative of one is zero, derivative of minus u is gonna be minus du. So we'll make this substitution, first updating our bounds, we'll plug our one right in here for x, so we're gonna have a zero for our upper bound. And for the lower bound, we plug in a zero and we get a one. Our x value we have right here is gonna be one minus u, and our one minus x is that's just gonna be a u now, and we're gonna have u to the 99 minus du. And this is perfect, like I mentioned, with the one minus x, we obviously didn't want to multiply that out, right, and get some gigantic term. Um, so we needed a u substitution to simplify this, and we don't really care that this is a little more complicated. From here, all I'll do is we'll take our negative sign and bring it out front, but we're just gonna use that to flip the bounds. So we have that property of the definite integral that allows us to do that. So I'll rewrite this and we'll have our, we'll write this now as zero to one, so our bounds back the way it was. And in one step, we'll distribute this. Rewriting that part, we'll have u to the 99 minus u to the 99 times u to the first is u to the 100 du. Here we're set up perfectly for just the power rule. So u99, we'll write this as u to the 100 over 100 minus power rule on this one is gonna be u to the 101 over 101, just evaluated from zero to one. And I'm essentially not gonna look at the zero term. The zero, when we plug in zero in here, we just get back zero. So I'm gonna skip that and we're just plugging in one. So we're gonna have one over 100 minus one over 101. And then we can just get a common denominator here multiplying by 100, multiplying by 101 over here. We'll be subtracting 101 from 100 on top, and we're just gonna have one over, and then we multiply this thing out, we're gonna get one, zero, one, zero, zero. That's not binary, by the way, that's 10,000 and 100. That's it, like I said, quick problem from MIT 2012. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a good day.